They were opening up a 1.5 GP steel spacer uh, flange for uh, manifold fabrication, and we're using a 1 16th gasket, a carbon fiber gasket at back, so that we don't come too close to the inner edge here and hit the chuck. We'll hit the gasket before we hit the chuck. So this is chucked on a four forearm chuck and centered. So we're going to spin this up and we're going to open this up to fit a JEGS one and a half basic U-bend uh, uh, and part of the U-bend so that we have a, a manifold that comes out this direction with a straight spigot so that we have a good flow direction and a line of sight from the carb jet to the opening. Wow. And we're getting some freaky weather in Vancouver, folks. Winds are about 100k. And we're getting lightning and thunder, which we never get. So, quite the evening to be working on a lake. That was quite an interesting catch there, so... I'm going to spin this up. I really can't mount the camera, I don't think. I might be able to. If it'll focus, I might be able to leave it up here. I might get lucky here. Here. We've got our safety glasses on, of course. Final check, I checked this up earlier today, so I want to make sure that it is centered. <laughs> I've already done a couple today, so I'll clean out the shore things. Uh, we'll spin this up after you plug it in, because we have a cat here, so we can't leave the lathe plugged in. So, <laughs> here we go. Slow it down a bit. There we go, we'll check it to the pipe now, and we should be good to go on that, and that will be added for a McCooney spigot.